Oh, yeah, there's oh. a few other things I needed to tell you about Minecraft. Do you know how yeah. you could get horses? Yeah. You could get white horses, black horses, all different horses. Oh, wow. Um, you could put armour on them. Mm. You get, you get sh this kind of, kind of how you do that with the horses. And yeah. Just to keep them beside you and that. Well... Is that a lasso you're thinking of? I think so. But you could hook that onto any enemy, say dog, zombie, skeleton, and then you just tie it to a fence. Oh. You just hang it on the fence and it ties it so they can't get away. Oh wow. It's under So wolf. like it's a, a watch dog or something? Like, what yeah. is it they did with the zombies and that? You know, like in uh, The Walking Dead, they sometimes have them as watch dogs? Oh yeah, they. What they done was they had it round the zombie, but they cut off the zombie's arms and tend their teeth out, and then they dragged it so that the zombies when they attack them. Ah, I see. Because zombies were everything. So. Huh. Uh, oh, I was just trying to think of uh, you see, when I'm speaking of zombies now. I was thinking uh, about the Resident Evil Two and that. Yeah. You know. Um, um, should I hear a biscuit in there? Because I'm not sure if I should feel for one. Feel for one? You know how you're in the mood for something? Well, you know what? I'm going to start drinking this. I think. So where was it that we were at? Uh, I think uh, we're like going through the... Getting through the four keys. Now we got those four plugs. And we saw what appeared to be a boss. But I wasn't quite sure if it's like the nemesis kind of boss. Or if it was just one you had to go and kill. Um, and, uh, but it'll, I think it'll come at some point. So I take the four plugs. Yeah. To that place we're at and see what happens there. See if we get access to a new area. I mean, here's my prediction, right? I guess we'll go to the new area and that's when he'll appear at some point and he'll start stalking me unless you kill him. Because mind, I killed Nelson's multiple points, but he still came back. It'll be like that. So that's probably why they give you all those weapons. Um, uh, I mean, why else would be so generous? And that, uh, yeah. So, basically. Oh, I'm already at this other side. Yeah, so I think it's just the room up ahead. Up here? Is this? Yeah. Oh, I, I could tell you. And uh, no, I'm not really sure what to think of this next one. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh, cussing? Oh. I don't know what the fuck that is. That it? That's like a fish or something. A shark. It's mutating. Yeah, I think it's a G virus thing. Cause there would be no monster who could do that. You know, that quite. Oof. Have you ever seen that? No, can't say I have. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think uh, that's a boss. Yeah. Really recoil. I mean. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I think they're stuck on you. I think it's a I don't think you can. Once they kind of leech onto you and then just sit there for a bit. Yeah. Once they're onto you, you just have to. Oh. Oh, fuck off. I don't think they do too much damage, but... Yeah. Oh, fuck it, yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, wow. That's uh, took a lot of damage. Oh, fuck it, yeah. A lot of bullets. Wow. Oh, that only took a thumb, but... Mmm. I'm caution. Should I go back and get some herb? Ah, uh, should be fine. Um, I'm saying if you go in danger, if you can just use a full heal, and uh, you'll be right up to fine. Yeah, I think it's dead. Yeah. Oh, but I tell you, what a boss that was. It looks like a panel to be slow. Yeah. No description for the plugs. King, plug, root, plug, insertion, bishop. So, king. Rook, Bishop, now I've got all four. Yeah, I thought there was going to be a Queen, but no. Just those four. So, King. 
King, Rook, Bishop, and Knight. Oh my god. Right, King, Rook, Bishop, and Knight. King. Rook. Rook. Bishop is next. Ah, oh, look, it looks like the key, you know. Uh, so, Bishop and Knight. Yeah. And that's just knight. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I think now what's on? I'm standing back a bit in case there's any dopey. Yeah, yeah I'll quit my shit. Yeah, in case there's any powerful enemies. Oh wait. Yeah, combine. Yeah, he didn't do too bad there, and uh, he only got hit, I'd say, three times with leeches. Oh. 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 Thought that was going to be that fucking boss, but... It's not. The boss will get out of the way. Probably. What was that all about? <laughs> Yeah. Probably. Yeah. You reckon maybe a hunter might be on the way? Alright, so I'm just trying to think, what do, you, do you think we need to go for the sewer next? Alright, see that door? Uh, yeah, I bet you there will be a hunter at some point. Uh, yeah, my other ones tell you, the lizard like things. And uh, you know, the ones that can like kill you really quickly. Yeah, I bet they will be. In this room? Could be. Or I've no idea what to expect. Or it could be your favourite friends, for all I know. That's the... Uh... Think she's not coming up then. Oh, there's more blue herbs. I wonder what that could mean. Hmm. Oh, well, you know what? Spiders, eh? <laughs> I've probably given it away, haven't I? I wonder what's in this room. I'll say for your own guessing, yeah. I don't know. It's your choice if you want to save or not, but considering ink rippings and that, well, you don't want to be in a position where you can't save other than that, so. Why is it not the openness? I'm not quite sure. Uh, might want to check see if there's something you can lock it with. Oh, oh there's handgun bullets. You know, I'm wondering, do you, are you planning on switching out the guns or. Are you fine with some machine gun shotgun? I might switch out the guns. Move them all, you bitch. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, there is. The elevator. You don't think, okay, maybe this might be a good chance just to use a herb to heal up. And, uh, no, like a green herb. And, uh, and uh, see if there's a chest somewhere in the room. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 is that what I think it is? Uh, yeah, I saw an ink ribbon. You see that tiny, tiny thing? Next to the, the typewriter. I don't know, like... <laughs> yep, to... Honestly, I was surprised I was able to see that. Yeah. Alright, so here's what I was thinking, right? You might as well heal yourself up, get what you need, and then save it. And that, so that's right. also... Uh, Let's see. Yeah. Just a single green herb should do. Okay, so I'll put these away. Alright, here's what I think, right? Merge those two blue herbs with green herbs. 
I thought, I bet that's going to be tedious as fuck. And I pull one green, one blue, one green, and it merge them, put them back in, and rinse and repeat. So let's see, so... But it's worth it and that, because I think it's better to have something that can heal both of you and the poison than to not have anything, you know? So let's see, so put that back. And rinse and repeat with a second one. Uh, I mean, I'm guessing if they do introduce those ivy enemies from a Resident Evil outbreak and that, they'll probably poison as well. Just like they did in that game. Do you think that's why they're being so generous with blue yeah. herbs? Because they don't give blue herbs for nothing in that. I mean, you might as well put that last green herb oh, in that. And uh, you know, just to heal. Um, let's see. Mm. Let's see, so I could combine those bullets. Yeah. I'll just do that. Um, do you think we should take the map? Uh, that's up to you, really. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Because the problem is, you can carry too many weapons, and there won't be really much of a reason. On that, but knowing this, knowing Resident Evil, bosses can come at you from out of nowhere like that one. But yeah, some machine gun, shotgun, should be able to handle them. It's because I'm I need in case I run out of bullets. Yeah, but well, some machine gun that you shot a shit ton, and that only used up a third. And, that, and the shotgun's got more than enough firepower to handle, you know, liquors. It's just what's beyond that, really. Yeah. Right, that should do. And then just save it, and we're going on a merry way. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh god. You know, I wonder if she's going to be actually competent in that. Because I mind only at one point in Resident Evil 3 did someone actually follow you in that. And I mind with Carlos, and he actually did help out when you were fighting Nemesis at one time. And I wonder if she's going to be doing the same thing. And uh, if she will actually help out during the combat. Well, if she lives that long. Oh, there's a bit of paper. Yeah. Go get them documents. He obstacles and that. Oh. Let's see if my knife out. Okay. Yeah, just to see if there's any passwords. Yeah, uh, uh. yeah, um, I check those panels just in case, you know, if there's anything yeah, on them. Heading goodies. I don't think there is. Oh, a device to recall. Oh, that's not important. Mm. I'm going to check that big. Yeah, there again. Kind of big. Ah, that. Yeah, that. I have no idea what it's about. Because it stands out. Yeah. If you, if you try checking the sides. Sides. Yeah. Oh! Is it one of these ones? Sneaky bastards. Oh, let's see what that is. So, door to the warehouse. Warehouse, eh? Oh, is this what I think it might be? The see, the thing is, doors not only ask you to open them, so it's your choice if you want to. And which one do you want to check out first? The warehouse or what lays beneath? I sense that there will be something in there. Oh, uh, well, at least you got the choice now. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, I'm going to drink. Because. Oh. Attention. <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, I'm just trying to think here how hard this game will get. Because I mind. Resident Evil 3 wasn't too bad up until you got to. Uh, let me think. Up until I got to the point with Carlos, because. I think it was mostly just zombies, zombie dogs, zombie crows, and the occasional spider thing, but oh, it wasn't too bad. Remember, um, I can remember when you were playing and you were in this big laboratory, yeah. and then you crossed their balconies and these giant bat things. Bat yeah. things are... Uh, let me think... Uh, and then you had to try to get the wee turnaround cart, you know, the wee part of the train, yeah. to turn around or something, and then it went and done, yeah. around. Something like that. But uh, it was hard because people were dying and that. Uh, which one was this? Is this a Resident Outbreak? I think it was Resident Evil 
think so. I can't oh, remember. Nah. And then in the main room, there was like wee eggs. Oh, oh yeah, that's, you must be thinking of Resident Evil Outbreak scenario 2. That would be below freezing point with the moth. Yeah, I remember. Uh, uh, yeah, it was a moth. That's what it yeah. was. Yeah. Honestly, there's actually... I would say there's none of the scenarios are too hard, except the final scenario for the first game, and uh, that being decisions, decisions. That scenario was way too fucking long. And, uh, even on easy, I died three times before I managed to beat it. And this is at the point I was actually good at the game, and that uh, that was the last scenario I completed on easy. And my god, it was hard. Oh, um, can that book World War Z? Yeah. Non bird, like. I, I don't know what it's about in the book because you know how you get different versions? Yeah. What did that one basically state? Uh, the book, and uh, I found that that's really yeah, but I do hear there are, there's not too many differences other than certain scenes and that, because some scenes are changed in the movie for a drama effect, and uh, but overall the storyline is the same, and except in novelization form, so you get to hear more about the character's thoughts and that, you know, that kind of thing, so it'll get more insight and that. Uh, I think that's probably a better way to enjoy it. I don't know why. It's like some movies, like the Harry Potter movies, I prefer to watch them to reading the books, but other things like uh, the Dan Brown novels, I prefer to read them over to the movies. Because I think I watched the first one, and that was, wasn't was too bad, but uh, I was a bit disappointed. And the second one wasn't much better, but I guess it's like a personal choice, really. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So what else have you been up to since Wednesday? Uh, yeah, not really too much else, although, uh, yeah, I would say I've done, uh, yeah, I would say that since New Year's and that, we've just been kind of like getting Christmas sorted out, you know, getting the Christmas tree back up and, you know, getting everything tied up. We're and taking it down tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Um, do you want anything? Oh, no, I should be fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive.